couple of months ago I made an Animal Crossing video that did fairly well as it turns out. As a result of this video, a person going by the pseudonym of Matt Attack approached me to ask if they could use the code I developed to make a Discord bot. Of course, I was more than happy to allow this. Cut forward a while and they and their friends have finished the bot and it sits happily on the Discord bot database. Links in the description. As I sat there admiring the incredibly hard work they had all put into this bot, I figured, why the fuck I haven't made a bot yet? I should have been the first to make a bot. Why did I make the Animal Crossing bot? I should make a bot. Cut forward another arbitrary unit of time, and I find a guide on how to build a bot using the Node.js framework. This looks easy enough, I thought, and started brainstorming ideas. I wanted to test the capabilities of what a bot could do. After doing some research, I discovered I could get the bot to do the following things. Uh, fucking everything. Bots can pretty much have the capabilities of an admin, which is equal parts exciting as it is a uh, terrifying, and even more so, Node allows us to do pretty much whatever we want anyway. With this in mind, the limit of our bot is our imagination. I'm lucky for the world, I have a very scattered imagination, so this little project should probably be suited to my very, very short attention span. Just as a side note, while writing that last passage, I frequently wandered away from my desk, checked my phone, or otherwise didn't think about completing that passage. That short bit of text literally took me around an hour to write, so this is what I'm working with here. I figured I'd make a bot that act as a sort of call and response sort of thing. Someone says something, the bot picks up on it, and reacts with a message relating to what was said. Of course, because my mind will just happily scrap projects that I don't immediately capitalise on, and because that idea is so incredibly fucking vague, it left my mind before it even had a chance to settle. Until... I'm very used to being violently bullied on Twitter and Discord for my overuse of the word piss. The criminal leftist cabal in my circles on those platforms are always trying to censor me, but I'll show them. I immediately got back on the horse. Armed with nothing but the greatest motivator, spite, I'll create a bot that will use their hateful words against them. Here are my plans for the latest and greatest of all my children, Pissbot. Pissbot's prime directive will be to annoy. No way, that doesn't sound grand enough. Pissbot's prime directive will be to vexate its victims to an existential level. Yeah, that sounds a bit bad. I'll break up Pissbot into several modules. The first of these modules will be to respond to the word piss and any synonyms of the word. I want to instill a sense of impending doom on whoever summons the bot. So with this in mind, I've selected a series of cursed statements for the bot to respond with. I've also compiled a list of images that'll have the same effect. And hey, for good measure, let's get the bot to react with a random emoji to those messages, like we said before. Okay, that's the response module. Let's move on to the next, the mark for death module as I like to call it. I want the ability to be able to give the equivalent of a black mark to a user, cursing them for all eternity, or until I want to remove the black mark from them. What this boils down to is tagging a user and then replacing all the text they enter with one of those cursed sentences, effectively turning them into a pissbot themselves. And why not mark their username with a little message to warn people of their previous sinful behaviour? Sadly, editing message is something reserved to the individual who wrote that message in the first place, so pisspot can't really go about replacing it. Instead, what I'm going to get pisspot to do is delete that message and then talk some shit about them being into piss, I don't know, it'll be something. Finally, I want to be able to name and shame individuals who have sinned the most out of everyone. This will take form of a piss leaderboard, showing the top n individuals. This should be simple enough. I just capture the ID of the sender of every message that passes through the module detecting piss. And then just add a 1 by their ID, and then continue to do this every time they interact with the bot. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this hellish creation. It's time to deploy this onto my Discord server. And of course this went down very well, as you'd expect. Yep, very well, and none of my friends are alarmed or worried about me in the slightest. So what have I learned from this? Well one, it's real fucking easy to create a bot for Discord, please give it a go if you want because this was a lot of fun. Two, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of limitations of what you can do with your bot, which is wild to me. Three, the process of registering a new bot on the Discord application website is free and very quick to do. So it's like, super easy to do this, please if it's ever interested you, just go for it. Make a bot that whispers things into random users' headphones. Make one that randomly assigns people nicknames. Make a bot that reads through all the messages in a server and attempts to communicate using what it learns from those messages. Actually these all sound like really great ideas maybe. Again, the sky's the limit, and also the sky's fake. There is no limit. The limit does not exist. For me though, I'm pretty satisfied with my piss bot. They do everything I want them to do and more, and it was a nice little project to work on, so I think I'm just gonna settle with them. For now! Thank you for watching this video. 
please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and if you really enjoyed this, maybe consider subscribing. If you want to support me, consider becoming one of my patrons and Patreon. Over on there I post various behind the scenes nonsense and updates on the content I'm working on. So if you're into that, the link's in the description. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.